hello guys welcome back to ses ltd deals if you're new here make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on ses software i'm back with another review and today i'm going to review charge keep so this is a tool that lets you collect payments from your customers and it could be one time or recurring payments and if it is recurring payment then you can also track your subscribers you can see how many active subscribers you have you can also see the people that are canceling your subscription so there are a lot of helpful statistics and the great news is this tool is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is $500 but at AppSumo you are getting this tool at only $49. This is a one time single payment. Now let's have a look at the plan and features. So here are all the features and here are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. Tier 1 costs $49 where you have 400 active subscribers and on this tier there is also 1% platform fee which means the payment that you receive based on that you have to provide 1% fee to the platform or charge keep but if you do not want to pay that you can opt for the license tier 2 where you have 1500 subscribers with 0% platform fee. There is also tier 3 that costs $399 with unlimited subscribers 0% fee advanced developer api advanced crm affiliate tracking and commission and also team access which means you can add five users to your accounts so if you want to buy charge keep on a lifetime deal from appsumo make sure you check the link in the description below also if you are new to appsumo you can get 10 percent off your first purchase watch the full video till the end to know how now let's go to the dashboard of charge keep after you log into ChargeKeep, you are going to get this dashboard and here you can see some stats such as the subscription you have, payments and also the recovered payments. And in order to collect payments, you have to first create your forms. So let's go to these forms and then we have to create a new payment form. So now let's provide some details such as the form name. For example, I'm going to use this form in order to collect payments for my video editing course from my students. And then I can also add a description. So let's do that. So here is the description and then I have to choose the payment method so it could be credit or debit card or I can also use bank account but this method is only limited to US currently so I'm just going to keep it credit or debit card and then I have to select a specific amount so obviously I'm collecting payment using this form so how much money I want to collect I have to provide that amount on here for example this video editing course is going to cost 100 bucks so that is exactly what I have to provide on this box I can also select the currency on this right side and other than this specific amount I can also select this decided at checkout which means the customer has to specify how much they want to pay and I can add multiple amounts on here so that customers can choose from here but if I leave this empty so if I leave this blank the customer can input their own amount I can also provide a description but what I want to do is set specific amount that is going to be $100 and then I can also enable coupons I can also enable additional fee if I want so I have to provide the fee name and then choose the type so it could be percentage or also a specific amount of fee that I can specify on this box so I'm going to disable this fee and then I have to choose what kind of payment is it so it could be one time or recurring and if I select recurring I have to select if it is daily weekly every two weeks so these are some of the options and I can also choose the duration and I can also select when this recurring payment is going to start so it could be immediately first of next month or a custom date I can provide the date on here and there are also some other options for recurring payments so you can let the payers decide the recurring options which means these options and you can also activate trial period so you have to provide how many days this trial period is going to last and you can also enable this add quantity selector so I'm just going to select this one time payment and there are also more options that you can adjust so if you want to collect more information about your customer you can also enable these options such as the billing address or the phone number which means they will have to provide this information on the form you can also add your own custom field so you have to click on add new field and then you have to provide the field title and what type of input you want on this field so it could be check boxes or text and you can also add detailed instructions for payer and if you want you can also make this field required so I'm not going to use any of these fields and you can also redirect to a certain web page a certain URL after the payment so it could be a thank you page so you can provide the URL on this box and you can also enable this terms of service checkbox so when they are paying they will have to check the TOS and about the checkbox message you have to provide that on here and the TOS you have to provide the URL on this box 
and you can also choose the language so let's select the default one which is english and you can also add a custom theme for your form i'm going to show you in a bit how to create a new theme so now let's just save our form so as you can see the one time payment form for this video editing course it has been created you can see the details on top and you can copy the link of the form from here you can also see some more sharing options so here are those and at the bottom you can also enable form specific notifications so now what i want to do is test the form for that i will go to these forms and as you can see here is our form so in order to test it let's click on these three dots and then click on test so as you can see this is how the form is going to look like here is our form name the description the payment and also what type of payment is it and the customer has to provide their details such as name email the card number expiration date cvc all of these details on this form and then they will pay the amount the one-time amount so let's fill up all these details so just like this the customer will have to fill up all these details and then they will have to pay in order to get access to the course or in order to complete the payment so let's pay so as you can see the payment is now confirmed so this is how you are going to collect payments from your customers using forms so after coming back to the forms this form section as you can see this form is now saying that it is paid so it was one time payment and it has been paid that is why this paid level is showing and obviously you can also adjust various settings on your form such as you can add it to bookmark you can view it test it edit it duplicate it or delete it and if i go to these payments i will be able to see all of the payments and they are divided into two groups so recurring payments are going to appear on here and then there is also one time payment so i already got some one time payments as you can see this is the payment that we just received that i just showed you and once you get the payment you can also take some actions such as you can even refund it if you want you just have to specify the amount on here and if you go to these customers you can see all of your customers on here you can also take some actions so for actions you can charge your customer so as you can see this customer was already charged 100 usd you can also charge more if you want so it could be 50 bucks and all you have to do is just click on charge you can also add a description providing the reason why you are charging him so this way you can charge your customers directly from your dashboard and you can also get all the information about your customer from this csv file all you have to do is just click on this and click on send it and you're going to get the csv file to your email and there is another section on here which is subscriptions so obviously i have not received any recurring payments or subscriptions that is why it is empty so you can see all of your current subscriptions and also scheduled one and on the current ones you can see the active subscriptions the people that are currently on the trial period you can also see the people who have cancelled their subscriptions and there's another very useful feature on charge keep that is notifications so you can enable certain notifications from here so these are the sent to your customers notifications you can also edit any notification if you want so as you can see you can change the email subject bcc and also the email body you can also insert variables so there are a lot of notification options that you can enable and there are also going to be notifications that are sent to you so you can also turn them off or on from here and obviously edit them and there are also some other options so if you click on this you can also go to this customer portal so on this section you are going to get the link for the portal sign in page and you can also preview the portal from this link and you can also select which options that are going to appear on the portal so if you want you can add this cancel plan option you just have to enable this and obviously you can select a specific theme for your customer portal so in order to create the theme just go to here so now you have to provide the theme name you can add logo you can use image as the page background or also use solid color and you can also add your custom css on this box and then you can save your theme and there are also some other options such as coupons so you can create coupons from here just click on this new coupon provide the name the coupon code and for this coupon you can use percentage or also specific amount so you have to provide the amount and also the duration for this coupon and same goes for percentage you have to specify the percentage and the duration you can also add an expiration date and then you can save the coupon and then we have these integrations so there are a lot of helpful integrations such as zapier google analytics stripe meta and mailchimp and then we have themes that i already showed you so all of your themes are going to appear on here you can also create a new theme from this page
So overall, I think ChargeKeep is an excellent tool that lets you collect payments. You can collect one time or recurring payments. You can see all of your subscribers, the people that have canceled your subscription and also the people that are on the trial period and creating the form is super easy. So you do not have to waste a lot of time and you will get all of the payment details in one dashboard that is going to keep everything organized in one place, which is really good. So if you want to buy ChargeKeep on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. With this tool, you are going to get all of these features and these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description and once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this and on this box, you have to provide your email then click on unlock my 10% and then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link and this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits gift and this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.